Welcome to Caribou. So I'm in Caribou and I haven't explored the whole road yet. I'm gonna walk up. Behind me is a Burger King and in front of me there's a McDonald's coming up. Now in the book it says Limestone has a Burger King, McDonald's, and Pizza Hut. I actually toured Limestone via Google Maps Street View, but uh, I didn't see them. So maybe Stephen King took the Burger King, McDonald's, Pizza Hut from Caribou and stuck it in Limestone, but uh, whatever. So this is tough. It's a windy day and I've got pages of notes here. Don't know if I'll be able to get through all this. I've got to cross the street while I read. It's tough. So Caribou, they say it's, um, they were disappointed with Caribou. It's a one hydrant town and it was a lot like limestone. But I've been driving around Caribou and it's very, uh, very developed now. So uh, perhaps it's uh, developed. I did look at the consensus um, the se um, and the population has been dropping since the 60s here. In actually all of uh, Aristook County population is dropping every, uh, every decade when they take the uh, population measurements. All right, so let me uh, let me read this excerpt to you. Just to put this into some context here. I'm walking uphill right now. They passed the Caribou city limits. They passed by the Caribou Paper Mills Incorporated. I don't really haven't seen any paper mills. They used to be here. I think they've been closing down. Um, another indication that. It's not the near future. You know, things are transitioning away from paper mills in this area. A huge, soot, blackened building on a dirty river. Uh, yeah, those rivers tend to be pretty polluted near paper mills. The workers were lined up against the cyclone fences. I gotta figure out a way keep my notes from blowing around while, while I'm talking here because uh, suddenly they uh, fold and I can't read them. Not long after that, they walked into downtown Caribou, where I am now. They were 40 miles from their starting point. Everyone was disappointed with Caribou. It was just like limestone. There's certainly, they call it a one hydrant town. Certainly a lot more going on here now than indicated in the book. It's amazing that it's seen growth since the 60s, but the population has dropped, so. Now, one thing people say when they do reviews of the long walk is they say it's the near future and they're just repeating what they read in the synopsis probably on the back of the book itself and there are plenty other synopses all right take a look here is um mcdonald's I haven't seen a pizza hut yet Now, people also say the long walk is a dystopian. If you, look, if you look up the definition, it's opposite of utopian, which is of a perfect world. And dystopian is the exact opposite. It describes an, an imaginary society that is dehumanizing and unpleasant as possible. Uh, people also say it's a dictatorship that the major is a dictator, but they have no evidence for that. <laughs> if it were a dictatorship, then 
the teenagers would just be picked. Nobody would volunteer. They would be drafted into it. And, um, but they choose and they can back out. And even if you're a backup, you can back out. And there's two back out dates and you just call an 800 number and you're out. You know, so they're not forcing anyone to do this. Everyone who's on the long walk wants to do it. So it's not a dictatorship, it's not an apocalypse. People have said it's an apocalypse, it's a dystopian future, it's a dictatorship. It's All right, my video just stopped because I got a call. That's a problem with you're shooting on a smartphone. It'll uh, stop your recording when somebody calls you. So, apologize for that. So, what it is, the long walk, is it's set, in my opinion, it's set in 1978. And the reason I've come up with that is when Parker says to the waitress, you, me, Friday night, On 1978, May 1st, was a Monday, and he probably knew the long walks typically last five days, and that uh, he just wants to hook up with the waitress when he when he wins it. You know, he's just being bold. So, in my mind, it's 1978, and um, that's that's the evidence for that. And it just. It just feels that. I mean, even Stephen King did write it in 66, 67, when he was a freshman in college. He had the idea in high school, couldn't get it published, and then published it in 79 uh, under the Richard Bachman pen name. Let's get to some of these uh, synopses. Talk about how bad they are. I've collected at least nine synopses on this first page of notes. All of them filled with mistakes. Let's do the first one here. In the near future, America has become a police state. Not the near future, not a police state. 100 boys are selected to enter the annual contest. They're not selected. They volunteer. There's a lottery. And um, here's what happens. All the boys... Pretty much every boy uh, age 13 to 18 applies for the long walk. They have to, about 40,000 pass uh, the mental test, the physical test, and the essay test. When Garrity gets to the gate, uh, you see on the screen it says, okay, 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 once he's handed his card to the guard and he puts it into the computer terminal. That means he's passed all three tests. I don't know what it would say if uh, any of those tests had failed. So, let's move on. So they're entering an annual contest where the winner will be awarded whatever they want for the rest of their life. The, the game is simple. The game is not simple. The rules to the long walk are actually complicated, so if you start out your review by saying the rules are simple, you've already, you've already made a mistake. Maintain a steady walking pace of four miles per hour without stopping. Three warnings and you're permanently out. So many things wrong with that. You don't have to maintain four miles per hour and you're not out on three warnings. So, bad synopsis. And this is what people say in their reviews. Here we go, here's another synopsis. synopsis. Every year, the first day of May, 100 teenage boys. Now, I got a problem with calling them boys because like I said the age range is 13 to 18 so 18 year old is not a boy that's an adult 
you should say thir you should say teenage males and specify age 13 to 18 because teenage includes 19. So I know I'm getting picky, but I'm a stickler for accuracy. And when you say a uh, teenage boys, that's 13 to 19, and it's 13 to 18. And boys, 18 and 19, those are those are adults. Uh, they meet for an event known throughout the country as the Long Walk. Among this year's chosen crop is 16-year-old Garrity, Ray Garrity. He knows rules that the warnings issued if you fail under the speed, stumble, sit down. I'm reading this wrong. It's hard to read and walk at the same time. Warnings are issued if you fall under the speed, stumble, or sit down. Not true. Every uh, boy has a two minute timer. And when they fall under the speed, I mean, you could stumble and still stay above the speed. It's all about the four mile per hour speed, speed threshold. So, they say, oh, you stumble, you get a warning. That's, that's not right. You get uh, courtesy warnings when your death timer counts down from 120 and when it hits 90, you get your first warning. And when it hits 60, you get your second courtesy warning. And when it hits 30, you get your third courtesy warning. And I say courtesy warning to separate that from penalty warning because it's like, hey, your timer's counting down. We're just letting you know as a courtesy. So it's not a negative thing, it's a positive thing. Whereby the penalty warnings, that's a negative thing. That's when you break a rule like interfere with another walker and uh, you get a warning. And what a warning means, penalty warning, means your timer instantly drops to the next threshold. So if you're above 90, it'll drop to 90 and you'll get your first warning. If you're, above, if you're between like 60 and 90, it'll drop to 60 your second. If you're above 30 to 60, it'll drop to 30 and you get your third warning. And if you're below 30 and you get a penalty warning, that's an instant ticket. Um, and there's also other ways you can get an instant ticket, like going off the road, um, attacking a soldier, these sort of things. So I won't be able to get through all these. I'm going to have to break this into uh, different videos. So let me stop here and um, I'll see you next time on this long walk we call life. <laughs>